pan. It can work as a Dutch oven or as a deep chef's pan, but I prefer using it as an all-in-one pasta pan. If you've ever wondered how chefs create such delicious pasta in their restaurants, it's because they finish cooking the pasta in the same pan where they made the sauce. But so often that's just for one serving. Well, this pan in its large four-quart capacity lets you create those same results, but for your entire family. Start by making your favorite sauce. Today I've got a very simple pancetta parmesan red tomato sauce. I'm gonna start by adding some olive oil into my pan and then some pancetta. You can tell that I've preheated my pan. That's why we've got that great sizzle going on. I'm going to let this brown and then we'll move on to the next step. Now that the pancetta is browned, I'm going to remove it into a bowl that I lined with paper towel. Let it drain off some extra oil. Next, I'm going to add in some diced onion, as well as a little diced shallot. We're gonna let these brown and then we'll deglaze the pan. My onions are nice and brown, caramelized. I'm going to add a little bit of oregano now. We're gonna stir that together with the onions to really get the flavor all over. Next, a little liquid. I have some white wine here. And this is what I'm using to deglaze our pan. Make sure all the little stuck on brown bits are loosened to become part of our sauce. I'm now going to add my tomato puree. And at this point, I'm going to season it with a little salt and pepper. We'll give that a stir, let all the flavors come together, and then we'll add the final two ingredients. At this point, I'm going to let my sauce thicken up a little bit before I add the cheese and my pancetta back into it. I'm also going to slide it to another burner so I can use this burner to cook my pasta. My sauce is nice and hot and has reduced and thickened slightly, so I'm going to add some grated Parmesan cheese, and I'm also going to add in the pancetta. Give that a quick stir. Now let me turn off that heat and we'll add in the pasta. Now the pasta has not yet finished cooking. Once we add it to the sauce, the heat of the sauce will finish the cooking. A little pasta water is okay. It'll just add a nice consistency to the sauce. Gorgeous, now we have restaurant style pasta to feed your whole family, made in the all clad four 